At rate in the Sinivit local level government of Pomio district, you can clearly see the competition between oil palm and cocoa. This dead road separates about 10 hectares of cocoa block from its new competitor, oil palm, and it clearly indicates the line of division drawn between those who want oil palm and those who want cocoa. The Ilugi Cocoa Cooperative, comprising over 500 members, own the 10 hectares of cocoa block, but despite the threat from the oil palm incursion, the group has maintained their loyalty to Coco and won't give up their land to oil palm. Usha jam lagu na plani mo oil palm na miko, em ken ko, em free longo because I'm not thinking long anymore. Na nung katman ba si toko sa mo? Why na yuko longa? Why na yuko am longa kawa? The Ilogi Cooperative has recently been awarded as one of the top 50 cocoa producers in the world during the Cocoa of Excellence Award in Paris in October last year. And this achievement by the group has further strengthened their hopes that although cocoa is down, it is not out. When I'm something only walking long, uh, only walking long side, I'm planning to get some long. How only walking inside long? That's why I play busy one them, ah, cacao. We really like it that's long cacao. The Riyadh area used to be one of the largest contributors to the East Newbiton cocoa market in previous years, until the cocoa port borer infestation trimmed its production immensely and gave way to alternative cash crops like oil palm. The coming of oil palm into East New Britain is one that is overwhelming to the people who were accustomed to cocoa and copra as their main cash crops. Many have given up huge portions of their customary land to the oil palm developers to replace cocoa hoping for a better income, while others have given up their land to see the delivery of roads, schools and health services the basic needs that were promised to be delivered if they plant oil palm. Edwin Fidelis, National MTV News, Kokopo.